Hi everyone, my name is Peter Antevi. Welcome to another edition of the Hantevi Minute. Today I wanted to talk about a very cool thing with regards to codeine and morphine. So many, many of you may have given codeine to your children or you give codeine to your patients. Let's talk about how codeine is metabolized and how it could be severely implicated in adverse outcomes for your patients. So if we talk about codeine, the interesting thing about codeine is that it has to go through the liver to get metabolized. So if this is your liver, codeine goes into the liver and then it actually comes out as morphine. But it turns out that in the liver there's an enzyme. Let's just call that enzyme CYP. It's a cytochrome P450, but let's call it CYP. So it turns out that there are some people whose CYP is very, very active. They're basically called ultra metabolizers. And so the amount of morphine coming out from some people is very, very high. Because the coating gets metabolized so quickly that the morphine concentration in your bloodstream can be up to 80 times the normal amount. Uh, then there are some people who don't metabolize morphine, uh, the coating well at all. So the amount of morphine here is actually very low, so it's not really useful. And so there have been many case reports of mainly African Americans uh, and children, adults, but really if you're, if you're an African American, you have up to 34% chance that you could be an ultra rapid metabolizer of codeine. And so codeine really has been taken off the shelves at many pediatric hospitals. Be very careful when you give codeine to your patients at all because that codeine can lead to a very high spike in morphine concentration, respiratory depression, and ultimately death. So again, thank you for joining me today. Uh, another edition of the Hentevi Minute. I'm Dr. Peter Rentevi. Take care.